Hi everyone, my name is Xavier and in this video I will be showing you how to install serverless and how to use the command line interface that it exposes. Before you can install serverless, make sure that you have installed Node.js on your machine. For those not knowing, Node.js is a JavaScript runtime and it allows you to run JavaScript programs on your computer. Now this is required by serverless because it is written in JavaScript. If you don't have it installed, pause this video and install Node.js. I'll include a link to the installer in the video description. But basically you go to the website of Node.js, you scroll down and then you download either the LTS version or the current version. Both will do for the serverless framework, but let's just keep it nice and fresh and let's go for the current version. After that, open up a terminal window. To install a JavaScript program onto your machine, you have to use the Node Package Manager or NPM for short. So let's install serverless by running sudo npm install dash g and then serverless. The g option tells npm to install it as a global package available to the entire system. So when I do that, I will now enter my password. And after a few seconds, serverless will be installed onto your machine. So now we can start using the command line interface. If we execute the serverless command, we will get a help text showing all the available commands uh, of the framework. So here we have config, create, install, package, deploy, and what so on. Now let's say I want to know more about the create command. Well, I can look here and I can see here in the help text that it creates a new serverless service. But you can get even more information. So I can say serverless create and then I can say dash dash help to pull up the help function of this particular command. So this now shows me all the options that the create command takes. And this is, for example, specifying a template or specifying a path or specifying the name of your service. So the idea is simple. You type serverless followed by a command that you want to be executed along with any of the parameters that that command might take. Now, if you're like me, you'll find that typing serverless is quite time consuming. So the developers of serverless have also included a shortcut. So instead of typing serverless, you can also type SLS. This is the exact same thing. So if I now hit enter with SLS, it will respond with the same help file showing me all the commands that are available. Throughout this series, I will be using the SLS shortcut because it's just faster to type, but you can use either one. So that was it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you how to configure AWS credentials so that the framework can deploy everything for you. And then afterwards, we're ready to start writing our very first function and deploying it to the AWS cloud.